So this is actually like a big playoff game for Brooklyn. I haven't been here in a really long time, so I just wanted to get here. Uh, there's a bunch of fans just waiting to get in over here. So again, uh, have fun with your class, but let me know if you get done a little bit early, I can give you a call. But I just wanted to show you this. It's gonna be way more packed in a little bit. So I, I can't wait to see. Also, it's 420, so a lot of people are gonna be having fun. guys we are here at game or it's game three but the home game one for Brooklyn I got here super early so we're gonna kind of walk around we're gonna get the vibe of everything we're actually gonna go to my seats I'm way up there in section 205 even though I was like I should have put more money into it but hey I don't want to put like a huge amount to it but I do just want to show you these are the people here coming inside they gave us free shirts that's really nice of them I don't know if I'm gonna get a jersey because my current jersey is a D'Angelo Russell jersey from like years ago he's still a great player he's on the Lakers now which is another one of my favorite teams so this could be just enjoyable but for now we are here early so we're gonna walk around a little bit we're gonna kind of peek around corners we're gonna see what we can get I have no idea if we can actually I'm just gonna try it all right we got towels too what's this one playoffs brooklyn oh sick all right so we got t-shirt we got towel it's basically in like free clothing everywhere this is gonna be great but i just saw like this really really trippy movie bo is afraid so i'm kind of like a different kind of feel but I'm here, I'm ready to sit down, I'm just ready to be here. So I have to see where, let's see where I am. Again, section 205, it said this way. Going around the wrong way. All right, see it's 201 to 231, that's where we're gonna go right now. We're gonna find our seat first, and then we're, then we're finally gonna go and uh, get the drinks and everything. Just check out, I've never been to a, a stadium that's so quiet. Again, the game doesn't start until maybe like an hour and a half from now, so that's just like something different. But it's a good, yeah, it's kind of weird. I, I, all right, so I usually go to Knicks games because I live down the street. And again, I've never, oh, this is not bad. We're section 205, all right, we're over here. Again, I usually come last minute to games just because I just walk there and I'm there. I've never been so early, but this is just because I'm in Brooklyn and it takes a little bit to get here. And let's see, I'm gonna check my ticket. It's like 205. 
I can probably touch the ceiling at this point. I think that's that's how far up I am. So let's see. Okay, so I got exactly where I'm supposed to be. It is so quiet right now. We're gonna walk in here and just take a look. Here we go. My seats are literally here, and it's not bad at all. We can get a great view of everything here, and also, it's basically, oh, there's some people there, but it's basically me. Just look at that. So we took a little pause and now we actually have people coming into the stadium. I'm still over here. I took a giant loop around, but let's do this together. I was on the phone earlier. So we're gonna take a little bit of a loop around. If you've never been to this stadium, this could literally just be like a, a walking tour for you. So what I'm definitely getting later is a pizza, margarita pizza where, and this may sound really weird, $15 for a nine inch margarita pizza is not bad because I believe that would probably be like 20 or 22 dollars in MSG so that's something different. That of course is the stadium and that's actually my section so before we continue walking around take a look at this. This is my section. And we're still early. Game doesn't start until about 7.30 and we still have time, so we're gonna continue walking around. There's some good views, actually, and I kinda wish that I got like a different angle or, no, I think the seat that I'm at is actually, it's okay. For what I paid for it, which was like $80, I think that's perfectly acceptable. I think that's perfectly fine. It is, it's, it is literally one of those ones where you like, you can touch the ceiling, but again, like I was saying, it's not super, super like far and out of the way because I believe that Madison Square Garden has higher ceilings. Because of course they would, because of course that's like the most popular team in, in basketball and like almost in sports. See, I kind of wish that I was like right here because of how open it is. Of course, we're not gonna be monetizing this video because of all the music, like what can you do? It's still a little bit early and I'm like, should I get food? Should I sit down? There's no way I should sit down. You know, one thing I could do is, I'm gonna see if we can actually maybe talk to somebody and see if we can get like a, at least a little walking tour of downstairs. I think that would help. Let's, let's see if we can do that. down here is so much better. It's a little bit quiet upstairs. So let's enjoy this for a little bit until the game is on. Because oh my god, here we go. We got so much to take a look at. And I am going to ask them just to see if we can get some better access for at least like 30 seconds. All right, so this is the little better access of the tickets that I was thinking about getting. It was literally gonna be right there. And I don't know why I didn't pay the extra $100 because these were inexpensive compared to like what I was saying, but at least, no, that's where I am, right? 205, that's literally it. 80 bucks, 180 bucks. I should have pulled the trigger and done it, but hey, I got a super zoom camera. I'll be fine. Maybe we'll come back here for the next game. So we'll see it. But yeah, that could have been my seat right there. Would have been a little bit better. So this is complete the opposite way of it was maybe like an hour, hour and a half ago. But it's good seeing this packed. Most likely my section is now filled compared to it being empty. So I'll see you when we get up there.
Guys, so we're here at halftime. It's not looking good for the Nets. We're a little bit down. We gotta do a little bit more. But we're back in the first level. We're gonna see how everything is. I think everybody still has some energy here. So I have faith in the team. I honestly do. So let's see exactly how it goes. We're gonna walk a little bit around here just to see what the vibe is. And we'll see exactly how it is. Remarkably, there's still people getting in here. Oh, can you get more shirts? Oh, really? Wait, I guess even they can get more shirts. that Brooklyn has to take. This can't be a clean sweep. We have to make sure that we get back into it. The energy is here. It just needs to be released. There needs to be somebody who just like really pinpoints it. Okay, here. We need this energy during the game.
wrong with that?
under the last minute. 96, 96, this has to get done right now. There is no way they cannot win this game. Guys, this is it. This is nothing. Alright guys, I bring you the last 39 seconds of play. I swear. Get this one, and that's it. Sit down. Guys, we're closing out the game. Unfortunately, Brooklyn is not going to win this. We're going to do a walkout tour, just as we've done before, and hopefully, we will not trip over our own feet or anybody else's. That was sad. That's Brooklyn's only chance. I know they have another home game next time, but that's it. By the way, they lost that ball on an offensive measure they should have gotten. It was an easy layup to even contest it. That's it, guys. That's sad. All right, guys, we're gonna walk out right now. We're gonna do a walking out tour, just complete all this. Unfortunately, a disappointing game. How are you so bad at basketball that you trust the ball so much? They suck, dude. They're bad. They're really, really bad. I don't know how they do this. They had a chance. They seriously had a chance. They couldn't land shots. And in the end, they just, like, they imploded. And that was it. It's an unfortunate thing. I paid 80 bucks for this. I could have paid more, but uh, hey, that's it. Now we're going to be on to the Knicks game where I paid $500 for that, so this better go well or that's it. I'll be upset because I know the Knicks paid terribly the last time around. Now we're back outside in Brooklyn. This should have been a joyous occasion, but they really messed that up. Seriously, they messed that up. Could you imagine this space with Brooklyn winning? That would have been insane. <laughs>
guess the background around all oh, this is. I'm happy being here. I'm happy being around all these fans. I'm hating being around all these Philadelphia fans. There's a lot more Philadelphia fans than I thought there would be. Philly minus five. Oh my god, they're playing a Rocky theme, and that's pretty gross. Alright guys, it's a loss this time. That's disappointing. Alright guys, don't forget, I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.